Welcome to this week's episode of the Pull List Examiner. This is my weekly video where I take a look at the top three comics that I am planning on picking up on New Comic Book Day. New Comic Book Day this week is going to be May 3rd, 2023. I can't believe we are already into the midst of the month of May in this year. This year has flown by and <clears throat> we're going to be hitting uh, May the 4th this week as well so uh, that's gonna be fun and then you couple that with the free comic book day that's coming up this weekend and it is shaping up to be quite a fun comic book week so let's take a look at my top three picks that I'm going to be grabbing when it comes to this Wednesday Starting off this week at number three, we've got Where Monsters Lie, issue number four. I believe this is the last issue and the finale for this uh, short miniseries. And it's a kind of a surprise that this was even on my list at all. I really didn't think I was going to read through this whole series. I picked up the first issue because I saw it recommended and it was a really fun read. If you are into horror movies in general, then you probably should go pick this title up. It's a bunch of like common mo horror movie tropes, characters that have decided to form a gated community. So you've got like the equivalent of Jason, the equivalent of uh, the character, the puzzle person from the movie Saw. Uh, just some random, odd, weird horror movie characters. And yes, they live in this tight-knit community at the end of a cul-de-sac. And what happens if the police show up one day and everything goes haywire? That's really what this series has been. And it's, it's funny if you're into that horror movie genre. I think it fits along with a lot of those common, like I said, horror movie tropes that exist and it's just kind of a fun read for issues i think it's worth picking up if you're into that specific genre and at number two this week we've got joe fix it issue number five this is the series that peter david is currently writing he wrapped up the several maestro uh, limited series or mini series and now he's moved on to this joe fix it series and if you haven't heard again i think i've mentioned this before on my show uh, peter david is dealing with some serious health issues right now so if you go google for his link to his gofundme page it sounds like he's slowly getting better right now but he's definitely struggling and uh, it's just I'm glad to see that he is able to have this series that he probably wrote before this all happened uh, be able to be published and it's been a fun read you've got the Hulk who thinks he's this character Joe fix it and they're in Las Vegas he's going up against Kingpin you've got a little bit of spider-man action mixed in so if you are into Marvel comics at all and you're an incredible Hulk fan, this is definitely something I would recommend picking up. At number one this week, we've got Animal Castle, issue number one, volume two. Yes, this is the second volume of Animal Castle. If you have not read the first volume, I would highly recommend going out, picking up the trades or finding the back issues if they're still available. This was a great read. I am not really familiar with the author and the artist on this series, but they both do a awesome job. They do some magnificent writing work. The artwork is also uh, probably on par with most Disney animation movies, hand-drawn animation. It is done very well overall. It is a great series that harkens back to the book Animal Farm, which looks at kind of the political, socio-economic makeup of our world, but really portrayed through these animals that live on a farm together and the challenges that they're facing as they go through different struggles. Uh, with each other uh, in the first series there was a tough winter and they faced hunger and the quote-unquote fat cats which was actually uh, a bull and some other uh, dogs were kind of living it up in the main animal castle while the peasants were all fighting for their lives on the outskirts of the town and <clears throat> really it's a deep read 
but it's also a fun read. It is not for kids, by the way. It looks, when you flip through the pages with the artwork, it's like, oh, this is like a Disney movie. It is not for kids. This is definitely something to sit, ponder, think about. It's a great title, and it's number one on my list this week. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Pull List Examiner. As always, you can find my full pull list, all the things I'm planning on picking up at the LCS this week in the description of the video below. If you notice this week, there is a lot of Star Wars books. They're giving us a lot of Star Wars books this week between Dark Horse and Marvel. I think there's seven or eight titles coming out this week uh, and I'm picking up a handful of them. Some of them better than others, but Go check out my full list, and if you have any recommendations for something I should be reading, always feel free to leave a comment. Click like and subscribe, and remember to read them, bag them, and board them, and we'll see you next time on the Pull List Examiner.